Hi guys, welcome to the High Rise Hostess. I'm Jess. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for stopping by. Today I want to make a few items. Um, Chris and I decided to start meal planning for the week so we're not ordering in or going out to dinner every night. So today I'm going to make an egg salad that we can put over some lettuce and I'm going to make some ice cream and I'm also going to make a apple crisp. So I I'm going to start putting the ingredients together. I've already boiled the eggs, so those are ready to go. Um, let's grab all the ingredients and get started. So to get started, I'm going to first test these eggs. So my sister sent me home with a couple dozen eggs when we went back home for our wedding. She has lots of chickens and so we were able to take a few home. But I want to make sure that they are good. So in order to do that, you want to run them under some water. And if they float, they're bad. If they do not, then they're good. So these all appear to be good eggs. I have a saucepan. I'm going to measure out the sugar first. You want to mix the dry ingredients first and then use, uh, and then mix the liquid. So I'll need the sugar first. Three quarter cups of sugar. Okay, so it seems that's right. And now one cup of heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna pour one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna mix this. Now, we'll add the milk. Two and a quarter cups of milk. Two cups. And then a quarter cup. I'm gonna use this. Heating it up on the stove, it has to sit in the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours, if not overnight. So I wanted to start it this morning so that we can have it tonight after dinner with the apple crisp, yum. Step one is to stir the mixture of the cream, the sugar, and the milk until the sugar has dissolved. So we're gonna mix it on low heat until a small ring of foam appears around the bottom. So I'm going to turn this on to low heat. A 
wooden spoon and just stir it lightly. You'll feel the sugar at the bottom start to dissolve. So I believe the sugar mixture is ready to go. I think the sugar is completely mixed into this milk and cream now. I'm going to go ahead and add this two teaspoons of vanilla mixture. I'm just gonna mix this in really well. Tastes delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna now, I'm gonna put a lid on the pan and put it into the refrigerator and chill it for the next four to five hours. I'm also gonna pull out the ingredients to make some, some mustard, some mayo, some celery and onion, and I will make an egg salad. If you haven't used this Sir Kensington mayo before, it makes all the difference in the world. I hate mayo, but this stuff is so good. I'll eat it on a cucumber sandwich or a tomato sandwich. Add this and a little salt and pepper, so good. So I'm gonna add that to the egg salad. I have the eggs over here, ready to be peeled. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take a knife and a cutting board and I'm gonna cut up an onion. I have lots here. So I'm gonna cut up this onion. I like to take off the whole top layer. Ooh, it's strong, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my eyes. What I'm doing now, I'm just going to chop up some celery and add this to the mixture. If I don't have celery on hand, I'll use cucumber in the egg salad. I have these nesting bowls here. Bowls from Crate and Barrel. I'm gonna take these. Just add in the mixture of the and for the mustard and for the mayo I eyeball it. I'm gonna take a scoop of the mustard and then another scoop of the probably two scoops of the mayo. Spin that around. So everything's coated. And now I'm just going to peel the eggs and then we'll mash the eggs into the egg salad. I find if you run the eggs under cold water, they peel easier. Okay, so I just have a spoon here. Just going to start mixing this in. And there we have it pretty easy egg salad. 
and I like to serve it just on top of some uh, spinach leaves and I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper in this now and that's just the final step. So I've got a bowl of just spinach leaves here and then I'm going to add a scoop of this. That's it. So I'm going to go eat this now and I'll come back later and we will make an um, apple crisp for fall. Hi guys, I'm back. So tonight I'm going to finish off making the ice cream. Um, we're gonna make a chili and we're gonna make dinner. We have a four pound chicken here. We're going to cook it in the uh, Le Creuset crock pot or uh, Dutch oven. So I've got three carrots, some parsnips, mushrooms, I've chopped everything up and put beets, I have garlic here, I have the parsnips, sweet potato, some mushrooms, and I've chopped up some uh, beets that are already in there. So it calls for three tablespoons of butter, and you basically just cut everything up, throw it in there, and let it cook. That ought to do it. I'm going to wait for the oven to heat up and then I'm going to clean up the mess I've made here and start prepping the apples for the apple crisp. Okay, so now I have six apples here and the apple crisp takes 40 minutes at 350, so I'm going to cook both the chicken and the root veg in the Dutch oven, the Le Crisset, and the apple crisp at the same time and then when it's halfway done I'm going to start the ice cream. So to get started I'm just going to peel and chop and core all of the apples and then mix in the cinnamon and the sugar, the brown sugar and all the other fun stuff. So let's get started. Calls for um, a stick of butter, but I don't want to eat a stick of butter, so I'm not going to put that much in. Okay. So we need a cup of brown sugar, and I'm substituting brown sugar for sugar in the raw. Have a teaspoon. Two tablespoons of white sugar. Three quarter cups of flour. All right. 
this goes in the oven then for 40 minutes. All right, so that's it for this uh, food. I'm going to pull out the ice cream now and we can get that started. So let's see if that's ready in the fridge. clean up this mess first. Okay, so I had to clean up a little bit because I can't stand having a messy kitchen and I like to clean as we cook. So I'll just show you what's happening here. This piece here, that I think I stuck to, goes in the freezer and then this sits in the machine. So I'm going to add the mixture, turn it on, and it's gonna start spinning. I just add this mixture in slowly. Here we have the chili cooking. I'm gonna add some corn. And then here we have the apple crisp and the chicken cooking. Looking good. See you later, bye.